I love a room big enough to do gymnastics. I don't know what accent that was. G'day everybody, welcome to the Dolomites. This is my first ever time that I've been in this region of Italy. And already it's so, so beautiful and we've literally only just done the drive in and checked into our hotel. So if you saw my previous video, you will have just seen that I've been speaking at a travel conference called Traverse. Here in Italy, they hold it in a different location every single year. I was very nervous, but the talk ended up going really well, which I'm so stoked about. It was such a good weekend. And this is not sponsored, but if you are looking to get into travel blogging or vlogging, going to a Traverse conference can be one of the best things that you can do to learn new skills, meet new people. And the next event is actually gonna be in London. It's called Borderless Live, and I'm doing a talk there as well. Anyway, what they've done this year is they're running a bunch of post-conference tours. There's about, 10 to 15 different tours going. And if you attended the conference, you had the opportunity to apply to go on one of these post-conference tours. And it's like a press trip, so this one's run by Visit Trentino, and I have chosen to do the one which is called All the Adventurous Girls. So we've got an all-girl crew who you'll meet very shortly. They're so, so nice. And we are doing, what's on the agenda this week? A lot, a lot of hiking in the Dolomites. We're doing Via Ferrata this afternoon, canyoning tomorrow, and there's a spa day at the end, which Hallelujah! I will be so excited to go to, especially after all the hiking. So, today I'm wearing pretty... It's like I'm an advert for Gymshark today. Do you want to sponsor me, Gymshark? I'm wearing their, like, ombre leggings, um, just my Nike trainers for Via Ferrata, and a crop top. I think it might be a bit chilly, so I've also got my, like, Kathmandu thin down coat, which I might wear over the top. I just love wearing like outdoor mountain wear. There's something about it which just makes me feel so happy. Not that this is necessarily outdoor mountain wear, it's kind of gym wear. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this week. Obviously I'm bringing you along with me, so I hope you enjoy exploring the Dolomites with me. There it is, that's the start I think. I'm Shu. I'm Yana. I'm Olivia. I'm Shauna. And I'm Christiane. We've arrived at the Via Ferrata. You already knew my name. We're going to be heading up there. Beautiful waterfall just there. I've got the microphone out. I probably won't be hiking with this uh, microphone, um, but I'm using it now because the waterfall is quite loud. I'm very, very excited. Switching to GoPro now. Than I thought, like you get the hang of it pretty quickly. Yeah. And it's very good job. Accomplished so far. The new adventurous shoe. Yeah. Yeah, I am. The first portion complete. This is where we're heading next.
This is the waterfall we've just climbed up. There we go, guys. Dive. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, that was great fun. What an amazing way to start the trip. I think the rest of the day is gonna be pretty lazy, which honestly, I am so down for. I am still so tired from the conference, but I'll check back in with you tomorrow for some more adventure. Mm -hmm. Good morning, friends. Another day, we have woken up in San Martino, I think, yes. and we are off canyoning today, which is very exciting. Via Ferrata, canyoning, all the adventures happening, and we are so down for it. Have we all got to wear red wetsuits? Excuse me. <laughs> Mucks English, so it's just go, stop, no, yes. I kind of like it though because it means you have to just go for it and not overthink what you're doing. Amazing, fantastic. Sorry, she will master the GoPro at some point. We're working on it. Salami, yeah. Salami, okay. <laughs> Salami means we don't use hands and we don't use feet. Something like in Santorini, but like a natural Santorini. <laughs> And then we've got a little bit of beer for at the end. Oh, oh. That's the view. That's nice. Uh, cobwebs. This is so cool. made it. Oh, I'm free. I can kind of hear again. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Beautiful! Oh my, oh my. We are dry and I am hungry. I've gone for a local dish called Canadelli. Bread, speck, stock, parsley, and other things. I said I was hungry and now they've just bought out another course. This seems to be a thing in Italy, just like course after course after course. It really fills you up. I feel almost a little overdressed because I've got my hardcore hiking backpack on. This was actually my day pack for uh, when I climbed up Kilimanjaro in 2012. It's really, really good. And I've got, uh, I've got the camel back as well so I can slurp on my water here. Uh, but I've just been told that the hike today is 20 minutes. So yeah, <laughs> don't know if all that's necessary and the hiking shoes as well, but at least I'm prepared. I even have a raincoat in my backpack. Not that it looks like it's raining anytime soon. Absolutely beautiful. The girls are just getting some very um, instagram <laughs> shots before we go. Behind the scenes of vloggers. I can't bring myself to uh, run through the field of flowers. Not today. I'd like to give a shout out to my sunglasses. I got them very recently. It's an Austrian brand called Newbau. I think that's how you say it. And they're made of super sustainable materials. They're really, really lightweight. And my favorite thing about these ones, which is why I chose them, is that they don't have the annoying little bits here and here. So when you put them up on your head, I mean, I know you're not really supposed to do that with sunglasses, but I do all the time. It doesn't get stuck in your hair. Yeah, I just thought these were really funky and it's always good to support an up and coming sustainable brand. No more plastic. That's where we're heading, to the suspension bridge. You don't want to come along here if you suffer from vertigo. We are high. Just got to make sure my phone doesn't fall out of my pocket. That would not be good, I would not be happy. Oh wow. Do you know what? I've never been to Canada, but I imagine a scene like this is kind of what Canada looks like just the gorgeous pine trees so tall up in the sky mixed with like the bright blue water the epic gorges and then you've got the mountains with the snow on the top of them hello good morning everybody it's a new day in the Trentino region of Italy. Today I'm in a hiking outfit because we are doing one of the most iconic hikes that you can do in the Dolomites. I'm so excited. I've seen so many photos of this area and I'm looking forward to bringing you with me today. Uh, this is actually the outfit that I wore to climb up Mount Snowdon, if any of you remember that vlog from about a year ago. I might try and be a bit cinematic today because I find that hiking vlogs can perhaps get a little bit samey if you're just walking, walking, walking. So I'll see if I can get some really nice pretty shots for you today. I'm really looking forward to the hike. I really need some some coffee. Italy's kind of catching up on me at the moment and I need to get a spring back into my step because otherwise I am not going to finish this hike today. I think we're going to be going up behind these trees up in these mountains. We have reached snow. snow on there as well and snow wherever we're walking it makes me feel like I've proper made it into the outdoors and also I haven't seen snow in like two years so it's quite refreshing and the mountain air of course <laughs>
had a lovely little lunch after the first hike. It has now started raining just for our second hike. So we're all looking like absolute marshmallows. Hello everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone looks like the Hunchback of Notre Dame as well because oh, you've yeah, got... But... Because <laughs> oh, oh. you've got the... Don't want to get the, the backpacks back. So this yeah. is where I came prepared. I've got my waterproof in my backpack and then I've got my waterproof as well. So stylish hiker right here. I think it's going to be about a one hour hike to the hut which we are staying at tonight. It's just quite exciting, like hiking to your accommodation. I really like that aspect. Though the rain is not helping us, but we are going on this chairlift, I believe, to start off the hike. Oh my God, look at everyone. We look ridiculous. Somewhere in the pocket of where you are. <laughs> Ready, Shuha? Hey. Ready? Uh, <laughs> yeah, pull it down and then have your legs in between oh, it. This is so cool. This is this okay? <laughs> wow. And then we can pull this down. There we go. Such an expert. Oh my god. Perfect. We are in a ski lift. Not that we can we can't see too much because it is raining, but you can tell that this is such a beautiful landscape. The sun has come out. We still all have our raincoats on though because we don't know if the rain could start again anytime soon. Probably not too much, but we have made it to this big statue. I am so terrible at names, I can't remember what this is called. Crystal Manos! And this statue of a bird was put here to celebrate him. Why am I so bad at history? <laughs> what kind of a travel vlogger am I? The marshmallows continue on their hike, <laughs> but a few less marshmallows than what you've seen before because the rain stopped now. This is a very, very enjoyable hike. Something like this is right up my street where you've just got, well, a fairly flat path now. We did go vertical, well not vertical, we did go steep at first, but now we're just kind of walking like on a ridge circumferencing, if that's a word, around this crazy rock mountain and the views just everywhere around are insane. What is the Dolomites? It's an old coral reef. How many years ago? Oh, a million years ago. Millions of years ago, yeah, so this, what we see here the in the Dolomites, here? was a coral reef. Oh, under the water, yeah. We see our mountain hut, this is where we're staying tonight. Hello, you did it! Buongiorno! <laughs> we're in a, in a little dorm room tonight, sharing with Shushi, Hi. Shuha, oh. and Shauna. Hello! And I'm Shristi. It's so cute, and the Wi-Fi actually works here, so <laughs> Wi-Fi has not worked for me the entire time I've pretty much been in Italy. And um, suddenly I come to a mountain hut in the middle of nowhere where there's, where there's actual snow in June. And the Wi-Fi works perfectly. And dinner's ready, and I'm so excited. And I'm definitely gonna have a hot chocolate as well. It's so funny because I've just had a message from my friend Grace who's down in I think Bologna and she messaged me going oh my god I can't believe how hot Italy is right now like I'm boiling it's 32 degrees are you boiling as well and I'm here and I just sent her a photo of the snow and so and showed her wearing my hat and my coat and I was like no it's not quite so warm here not up in the Dolomites but it's cool I don't think I've ever seen snow in the northern hemisphere in June it's actually actually mad that they have this hut here up at I think it's 2200 meters or just over and yeah it's kind of chilly sun's going down now we're just getting the last rays of sunlight before we go to sleep and tomorrow is our last full day so I'm gonna sign off from today here and I'll see you in the morning It's really 
Are you ready for the hike today? Yes, I'm really ready. Yeah, we're not too sure how difficult this hike is going to be. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. No, you reckon it's going to be okay? Because... Yeah. And the sun is out. The nice. sun is out. It is warm. It's cold, but it's warm. Bye, doggy! Walking on snow and slush. Look at this scenery, it's insane, and such a beautiful morning, oh, what a way to wake up, hey? Just breathe in the fresh mountain air. Do you know where we are heading? We are actually heading to a spa for the afternoon, which makes things even more exciting. What we are looking at here is a wild marmot. It's a little bit like a cross between some sort of rabbit and meerkat. I don't see any ears though. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't focusing correctly. It's the altitude and the filming skills are not at their best. That's where we just came from. <laughs> cold room but it doesn't feel ice cold no. it's supposed to be very good to go into somewhere very cold after somewhere very hot I feel all right. so this is the Japanese bar it's 40 degrees we're gonna be in here for five minutes and then there's like a salt thing outside where we're gonna scrub our body massage, get the circulation going before having an invigorating shower. I've never had a spa experience that's this complex and so many different stages and I quite like it. I like being told what to do. looks insane. Getting back into the outdoor hot tub in a ridiculous location. And I'm about to be sad. Who do I think I am? What is this? Trento Doc is the Trentino Metodo Classico sparkling wine produced according to the official production guidelines. Just as glorious as I remembered it. <laughs> so good. This whole situation is ridiculous. I'm gonna drink some Trento Talk in a hot tub with a view, and I will see you in the morning. Okay, and namaste, everybody. And you're gonna go back. <laughs> 